Hello everyone. So recently OpenAI released GPT-40 and we're going to see if GPT-40 can answer questions better than ChatGPT 3.5. So in the past I had asked ChatGPT 3.5 a few very basic questions that most humans can get right, but ChatGPT wasn't able to answer these questions. So the upgraded version, I don't know if it's going to be better or not, but we're going to test it out in today's video and see if it can answer these questions. So first, let me ask if this is GPT-4.0. Are you GPT-4.0? Probably not. This is 3.5, I'm assuming. Ah. Oh. Okay, so, oh, it is GPT-4. Wait, what? Okay, so it is GPT-4.0. Why does it say no? No, I'm based on the GPT-4 architecture. My model name is GPT-4. Okay, I guess it's GPT-4, even though it says GPT-4.0. Okay. And now it says yes. Okay, interesting. Okay, so let's just ask it the first question. The first question is what's the largest number between 1 and 1 million that doesn't contain the letter n now if you want to pause the video right here to figure the figure out the answer yourself you can do so but if you don't want to do that then i'm just going to tell you the answer is 88. okay so we're going to see if chat gpt can get this Holy shit, that was a huge explanation. So basically it says uh, the answer is the largest number between 1 and 1 million that doesn't contain the letter N is 888888, which is obviously false because there's an N here, there's an N uh, over here, over here. So there are a bunch of Ns in this number so it still cannot get this right which sucks uh, but le le let's read its reasoning okay here's a step-by-step -step method to determine this review large round numbers since million contains n one million is immediately excluded okay look at ranges just below one million since the largest number in the range in this range are in the hundred thousands, specifically nine 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 nine. We will wait. Specifically nine 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 will need careful inspection. Analyze the number groups. Numbers in hundred thousands are of the form one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, etc. Identify and eliminate ranges containing n numbers from 100,000 up to 999,999. All contain 100,000, which include n. Okay, so it got this right. So I don't know why it ended up saying uh, a number greater than 100,000. Focus on tens of thousands. Considering the number, consider numbers up to 99999. But again, words like 10,000, 20,000, etc. include n. Target lower ranges. Now consider numbers up to 9999. 10, 11, 12, teen numbers are out because they contain n. Review numbers from 1 to 9999. The largest number without an n in this range would be in the thousands that don't include the word thousand. Okay. Find the highest number in this redefined range. Excluding numbers ending in 9, as 9 contains n, we need a number just under a round 100,000, etc. After the analysis, the largest number without n in its English representation is 8,000. Oh my god, this has an n. 888. Thus, the largest number between 1 and 1 million that doesn't contain the letter n is 888888. All, as all digits avoid creating any part 
of the words thousand, hundred, ninety, eighty, eighty-nine, etc. That can what the fuck is it saying? This is complete bullshit. So I guess it got the reasoning right, but it still got the answer wrong. That doesn't even make sense. But okay. So the next question is this. So this is a very simple question. There is a man, a goat, and a boat on one side of the river. How should they cross the river? So now if you're a normal human being, the answer is going to be, okay, so the man will take the goat and they'll go on the boat and then they'll sail to the other side of the river, right? So that's how they cross the river. Let's see what GPT-4.0 has to say. Okay, that was a lot of text. Uh, to solve the classic river crossing puzzle involving a man, goat, and boat, you need to consider that the man can only take one item at at a time across the river and ensure that the goat is never left alone with any item it could harm. Here is the step-by-step -step solution. Okay, man takes goat, takes the goat across the river. The man rows across the river with the goat, leaving the goat on the opposite side. He then rows back alone. Okay, interesting. Man takes the goat, the boat back and brings the cat. <laughs> Wait, where, where did the cabbage come from? <laughs> okay, man takes the boat back and brings the cabbage across the river. <laughs> he picks up the cabbage and rows across the river with it. Upon reaching the other side, he leaves the cabbage there and takes the goat back to the other, to the starting side. Okay, man leaves the goat and takes the... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so now it added a cabbage and a wolf? Man leaves the goat and takes the wolf across the river. He rows across the river with the wolf, leaving it with the cabbage on the opposite side. The goat remains on the starting side. Man returns alone and takes the goat across the river for, one, for the final time. He picks up the goat and rows across the river for the final trip. So the sequence of moves is man takes the goat across the river, man returns alone, man takes the cabbage across the river, man returns with the goat, man takes the wolf across the river, man returns alone, and then man takes the goat across the river. What the fuck? I never mentioned cabbage or wolf. Why is it telling me this? Okay, cool. So that was the... That was the chat GPT answer. I would have never guessed this answer in a hundred years. I guess uh, chat GPT is truly on a whole different level of intelligence compared to me. Okay, so this is the next question. How many words will be in your response to this prompt? Let's see if it can answer. Okay, the word, the number of words in my response to this prompt is 23. Wait, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 12 if you include the number 23. So it's definitely nowhere close to being 23. Okay, and the last question, which is... How many times does the letter N, which is similar to the first question, by the way, how many times does the letter N show up from 1 to 10? Okay, so to determine how many times the letter N appears in the English words for the numbers 1 to 10, we can list out each number and count the occurrences. Okay. So 1 has 1n, one 2 ha 2 has 0, 3 has 0, 4 has 0, 5 has 0, 6 has 0, 7 has 1, 8 has 0, 9 has 2, 10 has 1. Oh! 1 is 1, 7 is 1, 9 is 1, 10 is 1. 
Okay, so 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1. Oh, it got it right this time. Holy shit, I'm surprised. Okay, so clearly uh, GPT-4.0 is better than GPT-3.5 because it got one out of the four questions, right? So let me know what you guys think about GPT-4.0 in the comments down below. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.